Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. We have a problem. What's wrong? One of the exhaust ports on the starboard engine's overheating. Okay, what do you want to do? I'd like to shut down the starboard engine for a couple of hours so I can make some checks. Alright, let me check with the captain. I will get back to you in a few minutes. Thanks. Right, before joining the vessel, I'd like to remind you that alcohol is strictly forbidden on board ship. Alcoholic drinks must not be brought onto the vessel, and any crew member found to be drunk will immediately be signed off, and an investigation will take place. The same rules apply for the use of illegal drugs. Only drugs prescribed by the doctor can be brought onto the vessel. I'm sure none of you want to lose your jobs, do you? OK, so don't take any chances. Good morning, this is BBC Radio 4. In half an hour, we present Play for Today from our Manchester studio. It's a drama set on board an oil rig in the North Sea. John Black heads a distinguished cast of actors and the play is directed by Tony Farmer. Good morning, this is BBC Radio 4. In half an hour, we present Play for Today from our Manchester studio. It's a drama set on board an oil rig in the North Sea. John Black heads a distinguished cast of actors and the play is directed by Tony Farmer. Last year, I was working on a row-row vessel. One night, we left for Barcelona, for Piraeus, when the watch officer detected a yacht that seemed to be drifting. Was there anybody on board? Yeah, there were two French tourists. They'd hired the yacht for a few days. So did you rescue them? Yeah, we sounded the alarm immediately and, and altered our course towards them. It was a stormy night though, and we couldn't get close. The master called the Coast Guard who arranged for a helicopter to come from Mallorca. When it arrived, we sheltered the yacht from the high waves with the ship's hull, and the helicopter managed to lift them off one by one. They were really lucky. <coughs> Captain, I'm sorry, but I don't feel well. I've got a temperature and a sore throat and a cough. Yesterday I was working on the deck in the rain and the wind was freezing. My watch starts in an hour, but I don't think I'll be able to do it because I, I just can't concentrate. I've just got to lie down. Okay, you better go to your cabin. Have you got any medicine? Yes. I've already taken some. Thanks, Captain. <coughs> Hopefully I'll be okay tomorrow. I can't see the mirror. Where has it gone? It's not missing. Look, it's over there. Oh, yes, yeah, got it. But it's no use. Why? Has it gone rusty or something? No, it's cracked. You'll need to get it replaced. Hello, Mr. Lansky. It's Rud Jensen, your crew manager here. Oh, hello. Nice to hear from you. I've got some good news for you. Your promotion to chief officer was confirmed yesterday. You'll join the vessel in a month and relieve the Italian chief officer who's been promoted to master. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm looking forward to starting. Sir, I've just received a security call. There's a ship ten miles north of our present position. She's reporting a man overboard. 
Right. What help do they need? Uh, another ship has answered her call and is making its way to the scene of the incident now. All other vessels in the area are asked to be on standby to join in the search and rescue if necessary. Okay. Have we checked their current position? Yes, sir. Here it is. I figure we are about 40 minutes away. The galley deck on a row row vehicle and passenger ferry was replaced while it was still in dry dock. To do this, they had to isolate the electrical supply and tape over the wire ends. Well, during a routine washing down of the galley deck, the cook noticed the wires and assuming that they were isolated from the supply, lifted them clear of the deck. He received a slight electric shock. The galley deck on a row row vehicle and passenger ferry was replaced while it was still in dry dock. To do this, they had to isolate the electrical supply and tape over the wire ends. Well, during a routine washing down of the galley deck... So, have you finished yet? You seem to be doing a very thorough job. Well, we've checked all the cabins, the storerooms and the cargo tanks, but we still have to check the medical stores. Okay, uh, I'll show you where they are. Uh, please come this way. Um, but I can assure you, you, you won't find any drugs on my vessel. You know, over a quarter of a century ago, a vessel lost about 25,000 plastic ducks overboard in heavy weather. And you can still see them now floating around in places like Hawaii. South America and Australia. Yeah, I've also heard that about a hundred thousand cigarettes were lost overboard not long ago and then eaten by whales and other marine animals. Did you know that 10,000 containers are lost at sea every year? Yeah, there's so much garbage in the sea. It's seriously worrying. You know, over a quarter of a century ago, a vessel lost about 25,000 plastic ducks overboard in heavy weather. And you can still see them now floating around in places like Hawaii, South America and Australia. Yeah, I've also heard that about 100,000 cigarettes were lost overboard not long ago and then eaten by whales and other marine animals. Did you know that 10,000 containers are lost at sea every year? So, how long do you think he's been on board? Not long. He must have got on in one of the ports in Kenya. Probably Mombasa. So, is he Kenyan? No, he said he was escaping persecution in Sudan, but we found papers on him that say he's Somalian. That's a bit of a headache to sort out. Yep. We're stuck with him till we get to Tanzania, then we'll hand him over to the authorities. So, how long do you think he's been on board? Not long. He must have got on in one of the ports in Kenya, probably Mombasa. So, is he Kenyan? No, he said he was escaping persecution in Sudan, but we found papers on him that say he's Somalian. That's a bit of a headache to sort out. Yep, we're stuck with him till we get to Tanzania, then we'll hand him over to the authorities. You can't imagine how that cadet who's working in the galley has arranged the food in the fridge. He knows nothing. He put the dairy right at the bottom of the fridge, and he put the raw meat right at the top of the fridge. He then put the cooked meat below the raw meat, and there were rows of tinned food on the shelf above the dairy. Is he trying to kill us or what? You can't imagine how that cadet who's working in the galley has arranged the food in the fridge. He knows nothing. He put the dairy right at the bottom of the fridge, and he put the raw meat right at the top of the fridge. He then put the cooked meat below the raw meat, and there were rows of tinned food on the shelf above the dairy. Is he trying to kill us or what? So how's it going, son? There's so much to learn, especially with the drills on board. What drills do you have to do? 
Well, there are fire drills, man overboard drills, enclosed space drills, abandoned ship drills. Which one has taught you the most? Probably the enclosed space drill, as there's so much new equipment I need to learn how to use. The one I dislike the most is the firefighting drill. It's just so hot inside those suits. I feel like I'm going to collapse. Yes, but it's important, isn't it? You'll never guess what. We had a real emergency last week. One of the ABs fell overboard and had to be rescued. Luckily the sea was calm and we could see where he was. Tell me more. How did it happen? So how's it going, son? There's so much to learn, especially with the drills on board. What drills do you have to do? Well, there are fire drills, man overboard drills, enclosed space drills, abandoned ship drills. Which one has taught you the most? Probably the enclosed space drill, as there's so much new equipment I need to learn how to use. The one I dislike the most is the firefighting drill. It's just so hot inside those suits. I feel like I'm going to collapse. Yes, but it's important, isn't it? You'll never guess what. We had a real emergency last week. One of the ABs fell overboard and had to be rescued. Luckily the sea was calm and we could see where he was. Tell me more. How did it happen? Excuse me. I think you've got my bag there. I'm so sorry, yes. It's mine as two wheels, not four. This is mine coming now. Last as usual. I'm still waiting for another one. Ah, oh, no. The conveyor belt stopped. Typical. I never seem to manage a flight without losing at least one bag. Is it that one over there? No, I'm waiting for a rucksack. Oh, well. It's a trip to lost luggage for me. Good luck. Why is that watertight door open? Why have you decided to leave this company? What job should I do now? Why can't we enter port? Why can't we enter port? Look at them working aloft on that other vessel. Look at them working aloft on that other vessel. The distance from the port to the warehouse is approximately 750 meters. The information about pollution is on page 384. The information about pollution is on page 384. You took 2 minutes 20 seconds to don your immersion suit. You took 2 minutes 20 seconds to don your immersion suit. I've heard that about 46.2% of all port state deficiencies are because of faulty equipment. I've heard that about 46.2% of all port state deficiencies are because of My date of birth is 5th of November 1961. My date of birth is 5th of November 1961.
Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you want to say thank you for the creator, please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video for you.